Sometimes I wonder if I just accidentally make my own work. Uh, you know, things don't really even need to be done, but let's just make extra work for ourselves because that's fun. So I've got this area over here where an old garden space used to be in here. And when I leveled this whole area, I thought I did a really good job. I did not do a very good job. And what I'm left with is really hard to show on a camera. But maybe as I'm walking across here, you might be able to see it. There's just like this little swoop kind of coming down here. And it has made a raised area from about right in here, coming back to this area and then down here. So this whole area of the yard is just puffed up a little bit more than the rest of the yard. And so since I like to overthink things and just do a lot of things that don't make sense, just, it's fun, trust me. I had thought about another project that I needed to do where I wanted to make this area around the tree just look better because this kind of looks like bad. The previous owners had made this little uh, square box thing here and filled it up a little bit with dirt. And you can see where the, the tree roots have started to grow into this raised area. So I can't really mess with this a whole lot without damaging the tree. And what's really bad is you can see where in some places the roots have started to girdle the tree a little bit. That's bad because what's basically happening is as the roots grew around the trunk, uh, it, it's going to apply pressure to that area. And as the tree trunk continues to grow and the roots continue to grow they just kind of like strangle each other it's it's not a good thing and it's a big tree i really don't want to mess with this but one thing i do need to do is get rid of all these old timbers these are some really old timbers uh, specifically this one right down here has completely rotted away uh it was the home to some some little toads and frogs and they, they really seem to enjoy it under here uh, but I, I yanked the chunk out that was here, and I've noticed that I've got at least eight good timbers going around here, and maybe an extra one, two, or three that aren't so bad off either. So what I'm going to do with this whole mess is I'm going to take this thing apart. Uh, it's only nailed together loosely. And once I have this thing all taken apart, I'm going to create a fake retaining wall. Stick with me here. He fakes everything else, so I may as well fake a retaining wall too. So generally the purpose of a retaining wall is so that you can retain earth, you know, keep it from sliding down at you. Well, in this case here, it's only this little humpy swoopy thing. There's not really gonna be anything sliding or, you know, causing any problems, but I would like to add a little bit more depth and character to this backyard and kind of designate this area right here and this area kind of right back here or maybe over here. I don't know, we haven't planned this out much yet. So it's getting kind of interesting. As a designated walking path, somewhere where you can actually see like, oh, these are the paths you're supposed to take. Cause it's hard enough to get me to follow instructions. So sometimes I need like arrows and pictures and diagrams. And really I'm just thinking that it's gonna make it a whole lot more interesting of a backyard walk around. And I'll be able to maybe put in some mint plants because I don't want mint creeping and running all over the whole backyard. Although it would be really pretty when you crush it and step on it and smell it and <sighs> that would be nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those things apart and just lay them down uh, right in here and right over there just to kind of like see how it goes. And then I'm sure you saw that big pile of wood chips earlier. We're gonna put that thing to use. We're going to make a mound. We're going to make a pile of earth to have the retaining wall that we didn't need in the first place to, to hold it back. So. This makes sense. And I'm hoping that once this whole thing is done, that I can go ahead and uh, put lights on along the walkway, maybe put some uh, creeping mint or peppermint in there to kind of like flow over the wall. I think that would look kind of cool. And then if it's in pots, it won't run away from me at all. And who knows, I might find other things to kind of, you know, put into this little fake wall earth area. Stick around, this is gonna be cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have some fun uh, trying to pound and bang and pry these things apart. Uh, this, this, this ought to be some... Ow, I need gloves. I already got a boo-boo. So I'm gonna grab some gloves, uh, rip all this stuff apart as best and nicely as I can-ish and not totally destroy everything, hopefully. I am pretty good at destroying things though. But in this case, I wanna save as many of these timbers as possible in the best condition possible. And once I get all these things yanked apart and set in a nice neat little pile maybe, I'll go ahead and lay them out over on the other side and let you guys see what I'm working with and what we might be able to do to, oh yeah, you see that pile right there? Yeah, I got a few wood chips to help backfill the whole thing to make it look nice and smooth. Or maybe even a nice little uh, hill as if, you know, there's a natural hill just happens to be right there in my backyard. And oh, 
that's why I need this retaining wall to hold the whole thing up and put little pretty flowers on it. It's gonna be great. Here, just stick around. Oh, hey, Mr. Toad. We found us a little toad. I bet you've been eating like a king. Oh, he's a big guy. All right, let's set you over here where it's safe. There you go. Nice little pile of sticks and twigs, and there you go. Have fun, buddy. Don't pee on me. Oh, and I just missed a huge millipede that just ran. It was like that long. Ugh. Oh, he's got a nice little burrow. Had a nice little burrow. Oh, please don't lose a finger. Please don't lose a finger. Yeah, uh, play with bugs at your own risk. It's coming apart really fast. I'm surprised. Well, unfortunately, it does look like a couple of these are a bit more rotten and squishy than some of the others, but, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll just go ahead and do this because it's not like these things are ungodly expensive right about now. But if it is something that I decide that I like the, the look of, if it's something that I want to keep on doing, I can always just remake the whole thing. Yeah, that sounds like fun. But anything worth doing is worth doing again to fix my mistakes that I'm inevitably going to make. Yeah, so the, yeah this is right up my alley. I'm going to go ahead and use a lot of this rotten wood dress it up make sure it looks okay if it does i'll go ahead and backfill it let's just keep on going what did the bearded man just say anything that's worth doing is worth doing twice that is some horrible advice i think how it really goes is any job worth doing is worth doing right the first time so once again i'm cleaning up the bearded man's mess in just a minute i'll be right back with you to show you how he messed up all right so i went to lowe's and went ahead and picked up eight brand new not rotted out six by sixes some rebar and some more landscaping stones landscaping stones and rebar isn't for this uh not really i will be using some of the chunks of rebar because we want to make sure that this is good and stable these are going to be a much better retaining wall than these nearly rotted out six by sixes that and these are six feet long and the ones on the trailer are eight feet long so it'll give us a much better retaining wall look and be a little bit bigger nicer and prettier hopefully i may try to reuse some of these because the four that were on top really are pretty good solid but in general the other uh the other ones not not so great they're, they're just all crumbly and th i can't use this because i really do not want to be coming out here and doing this again in another year or so because if a job's worth doing it's worth doing right the first time oh all right, we're gonna try and really carefully back this trailer up into all of these plants. And I've got a papaya that I'm going to have to literally run right over and hopefully not squish it. Just get really close to that orange. And we should be good. Let's double check. Yep, he's under there. Do not squish the papaya. I think that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get. I am a lone man trying to do this today, and those timbers are stupid heavy. Six by six is eight foot long. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get these offloaded. Oh, right after I go ahead and rake it smooth to where I'm going to want it to be. Let me bring in here a little bit closer so you can see where I'm talking about. My sincere apologies on being a little limited today on camera angles because hot sun, black camera don't mix what i've decided to do is right here where this stake is that's been protecting this unfortunate persimmon right here it's a fuyu persimmon love that tree but we've got a late frost and that has just never recovered since then so what i'm going to do is go ahead and use this as my 90 degree marker point and lay them out right here at about 90 degrees or as close as i can to kind of hold all of this this land back and if by the grace of all that thing decides to live then it was meant to be and it will then push through about two feet of mulch to make a tree right here at the corner of this massive land hold back here we go hold all this land back ow ow i got a splinter stupid wood chips where'd i put my gloves and the rake where's the rake okay so some minor technical difficulties i'm gonna go ahead and get this path raked out though so we can see exactly where we need to lay these timbers across uh here and here kind of area to hold back that massive landslide that's going to happen oh man i think i should have made a plan before starting in on this step one of the plan see how much work this is going to be is it even worth it i guess it depends on how hot it gets i think my line's crooked i probably should have measured this out first I think I'm digging the line in the wrong spot. Let's just dig it wider. Make more work. Because that makes sense again. And it's all going to have to get filled up with wood chips anyway. And if this path over here is just a little bit thinner, 
that's okay because this is this has got to be at least almost 10 inches of a uh, mulch at this point so in order to be able to see the wall that i'm retaining i might need to uh shrink up the uh the depth of that path just a lot oh no way oh i remember losing a brick when i was laying all this i found it i found my long lost brick I'm trying to dig this down and then level the uh the timbers that's gonna be fun too but hopefully you can already see that this is a nice little uh layer of mulch to be holding back and then once this whole thing gets dug out we got a huge mound of mulch over there still we can really pile this up and pile this on to make this look like a big landslide that we're trying to hold back this landscaping rake is about the closest thing that i have to a long 90 degree tool and this is where i want my inside corner to be and that stick down there is about where i want the uh, 90 degrees to go off too so if i point that about in that direction this is then my line that I need to be using. And I know depth perception isn't all that great on video, but that is definitely higher at the far end. So I'm gonna have to stack up something, build it up to make it level, because I wanna make this as purdy as possible. Because that bearded man is not in charge today. Big old dummy head. We're gonna use this first one just to kind of gauge the line and see just how dead I'm going to be at the end of the day. Good news is these have been sitting out and drying for a bit, so they're not soaking wet like they were when they were sitting at the lumber section of Lowe's. Let's see if we can use some kind of genius body mechanics to not kill myself. Hey, I'll be honest, that wasn't too bad. Line it up right there with the rake, and yeah, that's not too half bad. But this whole thing is going to have to come up a couple inches, or that's going to have to come down a couple inches. And I'm trying to decide which one is the lesser of the two evils. I'll be honest, I think I'm going to dig it out just a little bit. I got some sand in the garage. That way we can make this nice and level. Oh, and the fun thing about not planning at all a project like this, <laughs> you never know what's gonna come next. Because what I forgot to, about was, uh, I need another four foot piece to go at the end of here that then has to be leveled with the first piece and it's gotta be cut. And my saw ain't big enough. So we're in for some work today. As if we didn't already know this. Oh, hey, maybe my saw is about big enough. That wasn't, but like two strokes across here. Just uh, rolled it around a bunch and, hey, that's not too bad for, for my work especially. Let's see how this looks. Let's see how far off of level this thing is. It is certainly not level. I can tell it's bowing right there in the middle, but my level says that end is high, which can tell me that that end's high, which means that it actually needs supported in the middle. So I can just roll it over a little bit, put a nice little sand line in the middle, keep rolling it back and forth, make sure that it's good and level, and we should be good to go. This thing is gonna have more of a stable base than I do. Not as expected, this side's actually level, which means that that side might need to tip down. Which means digging, I don't wanna dig. They have no dig gardening, why can't they have no dig landscaping? All right, so let's just roll these things out the way a little bit. Get some of these extra wood chips out the way. Ooh, that is mucky. Okay, now let's pour some sand down here to get us a nice stable base, or at least a base that's more stable than I am. I only found one bag of sand, so hopefully one bag is enough for both sides. Otherwise, I see a trip to Lowe's in my future. And most of this needs to go in the middle. Yep, I see a trip to Lowe's in my future. Yep, another trip to Lowe's. That place gets so much of my money. I kinda wish I had a skinnier rake. I do have a little skinny rake. I don't recall why I got this uh, little adjustable rake, but this little rake right here is pretty cool. It's got a little lever and it extends. So you can make it as wide as it goes or as skinny as it goes which honestly i mean like right in there that's gonna be perfect let's give this a try maybe a little bit skinnier oh it's perfect there we go and we can just rake this out and then we'll check this with the level got it nice and thick right there and not so quite and thick right here oh this should look beautiful check it with a level it's not too bad right there Come down a little bit, not too bad right there. Not bad. 
Yeah, we're a little high at the end. Give it a little rake. Oh yeah, that's a big pile right there. That's okay. That needed to get raked out anyway. Check it again. Perfect. Oh, this is my work. Oh man, this is gonna get screwed up so bad. Let's roll these guys over. Nice and gently like. And then we'll wiggle them around and get them set in place. Level them front to back, side to side. Might need a little rappy tappy tappy with a hammer. But at first glance, long ways, we are good. Little, little tilted side to side, but we can work that out. Now I'm gonna take a pause on this side and go ahead and dig out the next side because that sun is getting really high in the sky. And this is some hot work. It's gotta be at least, oh yeah, it's pushing 90 at least. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the, uh, the details of this. Oh, hey, that's not straight. Why didn't you tell me that wasn't straight? Hey, we a little crooked. Let me straighten that out and make sure we're all level still. All right, how's that looking from the camera's angle? You good? Looks good for my crooked eye. Good enough for who it's for. Eh, whatever. Here, let me take you out the sky so you can kind of see it a bit better. Walk you on down. So what it basically did is just give it a nice little sandy base. I, I don't know if that'll wash out or, I don't know what I'm doing here. Don't follow my instructions. We're just having fun out here. Let's go ahead and uh, hit it off at about the 90. Going from that stick to that stick to ish. As, as good as my work is anyway. The end result will be fine. I'm kind of short. My thermometer has it up to 94 degrees now at 1 p.m. ish. And got this all raked out, checked it with the level. And it honestly, it, it seems pretty level with, with the, you know, the. The, the, the big old level thing thingy with the little bubbles. I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick run to Lowe's just because I do want this to be as good as possible. Nice little sandy base just to help keep it uh, sandy, level, well draining, whatever it is. I see other people on the internet's doing it. So I figured if they do it, it's probably a good idea. Oh man, it's really bad when you have to get two hats because you're sweating through two hats. Woo! It's Scorcher. I'm not sure when the play sand turned red, but it's, it's kind of cool looking, I guess. Since this is pretty well level, I'm just gonna put a nice even little uh, line down here and hopefully I can keep it somewhat straight because I kind of went a bit wide down at the end, but whatever. I give a little bit of filler, a little bit more right here, a little bit more right here, a little bit more down through here. Okay, hopefully that's good and, whoa, who drew that line? Oh well. I'm pretty sure if this thing was any more heavy, I would not be lifting it. There's one. Oh, now the short one. That's an easy one. I like the short ones. There we go. That's a much easier line to follow. Let's rake it out. I almost kind of feel like one of those little Zen gardenists where I'm making the pretty little design in the sand. Oh, got a tree in the butt. Okay, I'm gonna double check this with the level and hopefully nothing crazy happens. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. No, oh, yes, it's very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this in place. Once this thing gets set in its forever-ish place, I'm going to, it's gonna be so much easier with two people. Probably gonna need a hammer or something to get that nice and straight. Yep, that was really crooked. We'll be right back. All right, let's give this thing a rappy tappy tappy from the end. That's good enough-ish. It's a little off in height, but it's level. What more do you want? Yep, this one's sloping down just a little bit. I can fix that. May as well, I'm, I'm right here anyway. Some settling of contents may have occurred during inclement weather or something, I don't know. Looks good enough now. Okay, now the fun part. I'm going to chop off some rebar, drill some holes into it, and then secure it to the ground with a rebar. And then I will secure each subsequent piece by drilling through at least one or two of the pieces and then slamming a piece of rebar in, in between them because those landscaping nails, those are expensive. If you have the ability to buy a piece of 10 foot rebar, cut it into pieces and slam it into your landscaping, you know, borders or whatever, rebar is way cheaper. All right, when it comes to cutting this rebar, uh, they're about five and three quarters or something inches thick, the, the, the timbers are, the six by sixes. So I'm just gonna cut off foot long pieces. I'm gonna need at least two per board. There's four boards, eight pieces, math. So one way that you can cut these things is with the old rusty trusty hacksaw. You could also go a little bit grinder fancy uh, with a cutoff wheel. In my case, I've got it. So I'm gonna use the plasma cutter. Oh yeah. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out about one foot, which is about right there. Keep my eye on it and just go. Low effort, I like it. And there we go, eight stakes, uh, about a foot long. Easy peasy. And now for more of the fun part. I'm gonna take this chunk of rebar. No, first, I'm gonna take this little drill bit that I got here. I just found this little guy. I'm gonna bring it over here, go ahead and start drilling some holes. And I'm just gonna put uh, two in each board. I don't, I don't see any point doing anything more than this because it's not like we're really holding back any land. Ooh, probably not a good thing when your drill starts smoking. Ooh, hope my drill survives. That's not good. Okay, let's go ahead and slam these suckers in. Yep, that'll go on the ground just a little bit. Which is about all we're trying to accomplish. Just trying to hold it in. All right, now we're on to level two. All right, I think it's about break time again. I'm sweating through my hat. So I got the second level started. Went ahead and cut two foot pieces and then I'm gonna put eight foot pieces beyond that so that it's gonna be 12, 10, eight as far as the first, second, third level. Went ahead and drilled uh, some off-centered holes so that the second level will go into the first level. I'm not going the whole way, just, just enough to, to hold it. And these should just slide right on in. And that pin just kind of disappeared because these holes are just a little bit wider than what the rebar is. That one might need spiked in just a little bit. And this one here should just, yep, disappear into the hole. And this one too. So here is level two, all nicely leveled out. There's a couple little gaps here and there, but not too bad. Everything's gonna shrink anyway. So those gaps are probably gonna get bigger regardless as it shrinks. So there's second level and the third level should be pretty easy. It's just gonna be an eight by eight. Now the third level is up. Uh, I've been thinking, I wanna make sure that, cause there's not much sand under here. I'm gonna grab the bag of sand that I have and just pour some down here along the outside edge just to help you know with the drainage get water away from the wood as much as possible and i'll probably end up having to do it another bag but just to dump it on the inside of it to make sure that water isn't i'm pretty sure the water goes that away fairly certain so i'm gonna go ahead and dump a bag of sand on the inside and outside just for drainage it looks like we're gonna rake up the path fill it in oh this is so much fun but from a distance walking up to it i like the way it's shaping up this is looking pretty good now. Nice and sandy thin all the way around. Got a little tight in the back because somebody didn't dig out very much. So I just piled up a bunch of sand and called it good. So now the fun part, I get to clean up this work area and then start raking all of this uh, back up to it to make a nice smooth, flat, wood chipped pathway and dead pear tree. I, I don't think you're ever coming back. I, this poor thing, it budded out beautifully and then we got a late freeze and frost and it just, it never came back. There we go. Just level that off a little bit more. Might take a little time for this to settle in a little bit. Might need to fill it back up just a little bit, but this looks pretty good, I think. And what I will be doing, along with filling this whole thing up with wood chips here and kind of making a little Wood chip mountain, wood chip mountain, the king of the hill. All right, so this is gonna be just over 16 inches tall. I'm gonna pile this up probably another foot or two above that just to give it this nice little mound effect and then start grading it. So it kind of looks like it spills out that way and then over towards this way to kind of fill in this whole area nice and deep with a ton of wood chips. And then I can start putting plantings and the lights and pretty things but that's for another day. I am cooked. It is another beautiful day here in Somerville, South Carolina. Went ahead and got my first load of wood chips done here. And I'm just going to basically be dumping these things out and then spreading them around to get a nice little mound going up here. I should move a couple things first. Go ahead and get this filled up. Yeah, this should be fun. Fun day.
And now it's time to smooth this out just a little bit. Get this all raked up, smoothed out, and I want to kind of taper it off in this sort of direction mostly, but it'll need a little bit of uh, uh, grating out this direction also. We'll call this uh, to the east and that to the north because, well, that's north and that's east. See if we can get this kind of swoopy down a little bit. Well, probably gonna need another load or two drop right here on top. So we got a nice little mounded hill going. And at least a couple more coming out this direction. Maybe one more over here. Back to the fun. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff raked out, smooth that a bit, grade it just a little bit, see if I can smooth this down over here this way and kind of get it to blend in with the natural little rise that's kind of coming over there that you probably can't even see on the camera. And up over here, there's another, this is like the little, little humpy spot like right here. So I'm going to take all of this and push it out in that direction and that direction around the, the lime tree and just kind of smooth the whole thing out. Let me know if you guys like the, the little time-lapse thing where I run around like a little uh, rabid squirrel and do things, or if you'd rather see me just uh, do it and this is what it looks like afterwards. There we go. Now it's starting to look more like a mounded hilly thing that kind of tapers off a bit. Now let's see what we can do to dress this thing up just a little bit. This lighthouse. It just seems like it should go on top of the hill. There we go. That's not going to be very stable up there. Let's see here. Now, what else can we do? How about some lights and uh, maybe some, some more plants? I got just the thing. And hopefully I can get all of this done before I lose my sunlight. Now, let's see what all I was able to find at Lowe's real quick. And I'll just give you a hint. I went with stinky on everything. I just figured may as well, right? So as you can see right here, got a very, a very dry looking. This is honestly one of the best ones they had, uh, which is kind of sad looking. Very light. I'm not even sure it's gotten water today. It's definitely going to need some water here in a minute. Uh, but uh, citronella plant right here. Grabbed a couple of these little solar floodlights. And uh, hopefully by the time I post this video, I'll have Amazon's little marker lights, little wall lights, if you will, uh, to put down the side here to go along with those just to help, you know, lighten up the backyard just a bit. The next thing that I've got here is lemon balm. We've got a couple of these, two of these. There's one. Oh, here's the other, another one. Uh, spearmint. Got two spearmint plants. So there's a spearmint. There's a spearmint. And here is getting a little breezy. Yep, there she blows. Another lemon balm, which is very cool how that's lemon. Ooh, lemon mint. Ow. And in this side over here, this should be the sweet mint. So there's sweet mint, peppermint, and lemon balm. Got two each on all of these. I'm gonna pot these up, and hopefully in the final shot here, you're gonna see a nice little row here with the, the citronella here, lemon balm, sweet mint, spearmint. Yeah, we'll probably mix it up just a bit. That'll help fill in the, the wall area going down both sides. It should be pretty cool. And lucky me, Amazon delivered. And I thought for some reason that these lights would be bigger. I don't know, that's always my, my complaint. I, I thought it'd be bigger. But these lights do have a motion sensor, a nice little uh, solar panel on top. Hopefully that's a little sticker that comes off. And quite a lot of LEDs. I turned this on in the bathroom in the dark and it was surprisingly bright. So I'll go ahead and tag these things up there and give them a shot. Let's see how it does. 
oh, should probably go ahead and get those in their little potted ground areas. And that, my friends, is, I believe, about the end of this little Renault for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep piling up wood chips in between here, just to make sure it stays good and filled in. That will come back. I'm sure all this stuff will pop right back. It's, it was just been an impressively hot day today. I'm sure they didn't water these things much at lows, and only a few of them were even slightly damp. I'll go ahead and get these lights charged up. Maybe I'll be able to get a shot of this at night so you can see that at the end here. But I, honestly, I, I think it turned out pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna have to work on this area over here in front. Uh, yeah, that definitely needs something. Maybe some more logs around here. Now, if you liked watching about this project, please do a small channel like mine a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to me because that YouTube algorithm, it's just not too friendly to the uh, small page creators. And as always, keep those thumbs green, pests away, and have a bountiful harvest.